This week on My Sewing Journey, I am featuring a chair storage pincushion. This is a lot easier than what it sounds. This is the chair storage pincushion. The storage is under the seat. And the pincushion parts are either the arm or the actual seat that lifts up or the actual back of the chair. So you have a lot of options here. First, you're going to start with the back. Now, to make the back, what I did was I took a piece of paper and I made half of a circle on the piece of paper. Now, you can use a lid to trace that out, or you could use a plate, depending upon if you wanted your chair much bigger, like double the size of this. But whatever you use, you just make half of a circle and then you make a little square or rectangle on the bottom. Now you're going to determine this size by the box that you use for your project. I used an a old jewelry box where I received some jewelry item for the part of the chair that's the storage right down in, let me get these scissors out of the way and this pin before I end up poking myself for the storage part down here. Now you get cut out your fabric and I glu hot glued mine. I'm going to be honest there, I did not sew that. I hot glued it. I should have sewed it because I am not good with hot glue. I mean, look at that. Seriously, that is disgusting. So, I should have sewed it. But, it is what it is. So, you cover your chair back. Now you could, if you didn't have cardboard to do this with, to stiffen this up, you could actually use a plastic lid which, if I ever do this again, I probably will use a plastic lid. Um, then I put, the, I put that aside. I'm going to put that aside. Next, what I did was I took craft sticks or popsicle sticks and I glued them, just like this, to that cardboard box. And that will be what your little arm rest on for your chair. Now to get this, I took a piece of foam and a large piece of fabric because you want to have it cover right down to the bottom of that, and you can see the box right here, down to the bottom of that box. And you just fold it over your foam or if you want to use polyfill, you could sew the, you could sew that and then stuff it with polyfill, but I rolled it and glued it. And then you're going to take the ends, and I think this is the, yeah, this is the one spot where I did sew, folks. I sewed that, that close. And you're going to do that twice for each side. Then you're going to make the cushion. Now the cushion is a piece of cardboard, or you could use a piece of plastic. And you're going to wrap your fabric around it, and you're going to have polyfill in there, or foam, or whatever you want, so you can poke your needles through. And you're going to leave like a tab on the back of it because what you got to do is you got to glue it to the back of this box. Then you're going to glue your backing onto that. And next you glue your two arms onto your box. And then comes the front skirting, which is just a piece of fabric. And I did hem it there. So I did do a little sewing on this. And you just glue that down and in the box of the chair. Now, my husband suggested putting washers on the bottom of that so that the chair doesn't slide when I'm trying to pull something out of it or push something into it. It doesn't slide all over the sewing table. And that's basically the project. Now, I did put this practice little crochet piece on the top of it to make it look pretty. But as you can see, put my scissors in there or any of these other objects that I want to put inside of it. I hope you like this idea. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing and happy sewing.